بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما ट्रिपले कॉम्पोनेंट्स नॉट ट्रिपले मेनली हैव थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड सप्लिकेंट अथेंटिकेटर एंड अथेंटिकेशन सर्वर Now the basic difference between these three is the supplicant is nothing but the end device which is used for accessing the remote access. Like like I said, there are two di two different uh, things we'll do in network security. One is device access, the other one is network access. Now if the if the user is using his his own device to either to telnet or SSH, that is when in the case of device administration or maybe a guest user or the account user is trying to connect to the switch or connecting to my wifi network to gain access to the network for the network access so whatever the device is used by the end user to either to access the remote device or or for the network access so that device is referred as supplicant or the end device which is used by the user to log in so he can use his own computers or maybe laptop or maybe specific any other any other mobile phones or any other tablets or even the supplicant can be a printer also like even it can be a printer or vip device in case of network access because you you may want before the printer is being accessed or in the network by any other users it should be authenticated and of course authentication is done in this case based on the mac address but that is also com coming under a supplicant device supplicant or non supplicant we can say again depends upon some features we'll talk about more on this in the network access triple now once the the device which is used by the end user is a supplicant device or the end user device and to whichever the device he is trying to access maybe he is trying to telnet to the switch or the router that device is called authenticator so in case of device administration is trying to log into the router or the switch any other device or maybe in case of network access this device can be a wireless access point or the wireless controllers because he is connecting through some wifi network before he can access the network so now now once he is providing so probably he is going to provide his user credentials now this authenticator the switch or the access point or the wireless controllers they don't authenticate so they just simply forward that credentials to the another device called authentication server and this authentication server can be acs servers or ice servers just like your active directory servers which is going to store all the username and the password credentials and all the client information and also they are responsible for doing authorization they can push the authorization policies to the to this device what what is the authorization policy they should apply and also they can, they also keep a track of accounting so probably the entire triple a can be can be done locally by this device uh, but but most of the advanced options we don't use local triple a this complete a uh, triple a authentication authorization and accounting is done by the authentication servers so they can be either ice or acs servers using either radius separate protocols radius or tcax depends and this can be done based on the authentication can be done based on the username or based on some certificates